Good morning, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. So there's a big hurricane heading towards Florida right now. Hurricane Adalia is coming. And what's so crazy about this storm is it started out as nothing and then it got upgraded a few days ago to a tropical storm and now it has been upgraded to a category three hurricane. It's very concerning. This storm continues to get stronger and stronger. Every time I put on the TV to watch the weather forecast, the weatherman says, yes, it's getting bigger, get prepared. And how this storm is becoming so powerful so quickly is because it is now entering the Gulf of Mexico where we have had record high temperatures in the Gulf this year. I live here in Orlando, so we don't have to worry as much because we don't live near the coast, but we do have to deal with the outer bands, which will cause isolated tornadoes, flooding, and high wind. So I'm very worried about those three, especially the wind because I don't want to lose power. But this year, I am prepared because I did purchase a brand new generator just for this reason. Also, if you're hearing anything off in the background right now, we're actually having some work done around the house. We're cutting down some branches that could damage the house because of the high winds. Anyway, let's get prepared for this upcoming storm. I did take a good amount of footage yesterday, which was Monday, where the panic buying started around Orlando. And then I also set up my brand new generator. Let's go do this. All right, let's go see what Sam's has. By the way, that is the current end of the line to get gas here at Sam's. It's busy and there's no carts. I got lucky this was in the parking lot when I parked. Holy cow. All of the water is sold out. I'm so happy that I grabbed a few extra the last time we were here last week. Wow. <laughs> This is how you know a hurricane is heading to Florida. Again, Sam's is fully prepared. They have already brought down some pallets full of the Champion generators. This is the generator that I purchased a few weeks ago. They still have a decent amount in stock. That's the one I got, but I am here to purchase this Yellow Jackets outdoor extension cord. That way I can run my refrigerator from the generator. A lot of you told me to purchase this brand and they have plenty here. I think I may pick one of these up as well. Oh yeah, they have generators all over the place. There's still plenty of batteries in stock, but they are starting to fly off the shelf here. This is one thing that I just can't stand about Sam's Club is this line to just have a person look at your receipt and then leave. It tends to get backed up all of the time and I just feel like, why is this still a thing? I just picked up two items this time. I'm about to run over to Walmart and see what else I can find. Back in the car, it's currently 102 degrees outside. It is very hot. The humidity is insane. And it's just crazy that every single time there's a hurricane or a tropical storm system moving towards Florida, the entire state will just freak out and panic by. And that's exactly what's happening right here, right now. I'm just very happy that I got prepared a little earlier. I just had that hunch feeling a few weeks ago to go buy a generator and get prepared. And I'm so happy that I did that because I don't really have to worry like everybody else because I can tell everybody is in panic mode right now. But like I said, let's head over to Walmart and see what they have over there. Okay, and here I am at Walmart. Every time I come to Walmart, I get a crappy cart. Does that happen to any of you guys when you come shopping because of the wheel? It's wonky. I got some extra oil just in case, and now I need to find a bicycle lock because my lock for the generator it's not going to be here in time, especially now because of the storm here in the middle of the week. So I just need to find something that will get the job done until my nicer one arrives. I think this one will do because there's not that many options. Well, there's no water here at Walmart either. I'm also going to pick up another grounded adapter. Walmart was a success. I got everything that I needed. I am now 100%, well, 99% fully prepared. I still need to stop by the gas station, which I haven't been to a gas station in a long time because I now drive a full EV, which is awesome, but I need to fill up my five gallon gas tank and then 
I'll be fully prepared. It's nice. I have five gallons inside of this gas can, and then currently gas is $3.69, but I did go with the mid-grade. All right, I just made it back home, and I'm about to fully prep my brand new generator. That way, when and if the power does go out, all I have to do is pull it outside, hook everything up and start it. But I have five gallons worth of fuel here. I have a full propane tank. I have a 100 foot extension cord with three outlets here. My awesome yellow jacket extension cord to run the refrigerator. I have some fuel stabilizer. I have my 12 gauge grounded adapter, another adapter here. And then I have my lock. Other than that, I think I'm good. I may want to run to the store later on. I don't know, just to buy one more extension cord. Not really sure, but yeah, we're set. Oh yeah, I did buy some extra oil just in case, even though this generator came with oil, which is very nice. Another big reason why I decided to go with this Champion generator, other than the dual fill feature, which is very nice to have, is because this generator is RV ready by this outlet right here on the generator, which means I can hook up my Tesla and I can charge it, but also my Tesla has a feature called camp mode, which pretty much does exactly what it sounds like. I can camp inside of my Tesla. So it's very nice to have. And if anything does go wrong with the power going out or anything as far as an emergency, it's just nice having another option. Okay, I'm going to get this generator all prepped and get it running. Yeah, this is a nice generator. Holy cow, I'm impressed. It's big, which means it's pretty powerful. It came with everything that you need to get it set up. It came with oil, a funnel, and a propane hose, and a quick start guide. I really like how it came with everything, but I'm glad it came with a funnel because on this generator, you put the oil in, down here in a very weird position. I have everything set up. I'm about to turn it on for the very first time. I'm going to be using propane and then I need to set the choke to 75%. Let's see how good it runs. It works, heck yeah. We are now fully prepared for anything regarding the power going out. It's not too loud. Oh yeah, I'm very happy with my purchase. I finally made it back inside. It is so incredibly hot outside. It is crazy to imagine that we're going to be having so much severe weather over the course of the next few days, but I just took a shower, I changed, and it just feels so good to know that we are prepared for a possible power outage and it just takes a lot of that stress off of you. And it feels good just knowing that, you know, if anything does go wrong, we're good. For dinner this evening, Bianca went to go pick up Charlie's. She got a Philly cheesesteak. I got a chicken Philly cheesesteak, and then we got some French fries and a strawberry lemonade. We like to put our French fries in the air fryer to get them a little more crispy. We just got done eating dinner and it was so dang good. I really like Charlie's. If you have a Charlie's near you, check it out because their food is actually very good. But it got even more serious because Bianca just got an email from Adri's school, my stepdaughter. She doesn't have to go to school on Wednesday because of this storm. I don't know, that uh, <laughs> makes me a little more nervous. Now you know it's real when the schools are closing down. Yeah. It's scary. That's not a good sign. Never a good sign. I think we are pretty set on having enough water and then I have a few more cases out in the garage. Oh my goodness, this storm has gotten stronger since this morning. Jeez, look how big this system is. This isn't good. But by later on, Monday evening into early on Tuesday, we are expecting this to become a hurricane and then really start to intensify. Wow, look at that. It's now a cat three once it makes landfall. As of right now, the worst of it will be Tuesday evening into early Wednesday morning. I really hope it does not come over Orlando. We just don't know. It's still too early to know because of how strong this storm is now becoming. This is Wednesday morning at 4 a.m. Either way, we're going to be getting the outer bands of this storm here in Orlando. And this is Wednesday at 7.30 a.m. Also, I wanted to say thank you all for the great recommendations from Sunday's lifestyle video because I asked you guys, 
What are you watching on TV or streaming right now? Because we ran out of things to watch and you guys left us some great recommendations. I think we are going to start with Hijacked on Apple TV+. Plus. So I quickly wanted to circle back to the generator to let you guys know what I'll be running, when and if I do need to use the generator. So the number one priority for me is the fish tank because I love those guys and I've spent a lot of money on that saltwater reef tank. So I'll be running the filtration system, the heater and the lights, and then when we need to use the coffee maker, the microwave, the air fryer, I will switch back and forth. So when we need to cook, I'll stop running power to the fish tank. And then when we're not cooking, I will run the power to the fish tank. And then the other big priority for us is the refrigerator. And then because I know I do have enough wattage, I will also run the TV downstairs and also the internet. Finally, I do have battery powered fans and lights that I can recharge as well. Welcome back to present day, which is Tuesday. They're still finishing up cutting down the branches, but once they're done, we're going to hop in the Tesla, probably go to Target to get a few things as far as food, just in case, and then go to the gym. And then after that, we're in for the night until the storm passes us tomorrow. It's supposed to hit overnight. I hate when storms hit overnight because, you know, it's just overnight. I would rather it happen during the day. That way I can be fully aware, but Either way, we're ready. Oh yeah, we don't exactly know where it's going to make landfall. It is projected to hit near the panhandle, but if we remember last year, Hurricane Ian, it decided it wanted to make a last minute right hand lane change and went this way when it was supposed to go this way. Oh wow, even my Tesla is letting me know a storm is forecasted in your area. That's nice. We made it to the gym, let's go. Bianca got me on the Stairmaster this morning. I do not like this machine, but it's great for you. Woo. Workout is done, it's complete. Now we are going to head out. I need to stop by the bank just to pull out some cash, just in case, and then we are heading over to Target and back home. We made it here to Target and they have plenty of water in stock. I mean, they have pallets full of water all over the place. Thank goodness they have plenty of toilet paper in stock. I never understood why whenever there's a hurricane or anything big going on, for some reason, everybody will panic by all of the toilet paper. Oh good, there's still plenty of bread. Only two cases of water per guest. I mean, they're starting to fly off the shelves here. Inside of Home Depot now, they still have water. Wow, all of the generators here inside of Home Depot are now sold out. Well, they did not have what I needed, so that's okay, but I can definitely tell everybody is on edge here inside of Home Depot because of this hurricane. But now we're just going to head back home and get ready. We just made it back home and the clouds aren't looking too good. All right, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. That's all that I have. We're set, we got everything we need, we're prepared, and now we're just waiting. My thoughts and prayers are with everybody that could be impacted by this storm. And then once it jumps over Florida, it's going to go up to the Carolina. So I'm thinking about you guys over there. As of right now, Universal and Disney are still operating as far as normal hours. I am a little worried about opening night of Halloween Horror Nights on Friday. I think nothing will happen. It just really depends on how bad the rain, which can lead to flooding and the winds. And you know, when the wind is high, it knocks over things and we'll see, but I don't think it's really going to affect HHN for Friday night because it's happening overnight, which is Tuesday into Wednesday morning. So we'll see. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming.